Hey guys, and welcome back to more with Moros. Today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day video. Now I know I recently did what we eat a day as a family, but today we are just focusing just on moi. I'm sharing with you guys foods that I have been really liking and enjoying and just trying to be more healthier overall. I hope that you guys enjoy today's video and thank you for watching. All right guys, so I am about to make myself some breakfast. I am going to make an egg white omelet. I'm telling you guys, I know egg whites sound eh, not so great, but you can make it taste delicious. Just trust me and I'll show you. Um, you can put literally anything and everything that you want to in an omelet. Um, you can do mushrooms, you can do any kind of veggies. I am going to do some cherry tomatoes. I just need to cut these up. And I'm also gonna do kale. I sometimes will do more, I mainly do spinach. This is actually gonna be a first for me to see if I will like the kale. So I just need to chop it up just a little bit because those are pretty big pieces. I'm also gonna add some honey roasted turkey breast. Again, you can add whatever you want if you wanna do ham or little pieces of bacon. I am trying to be a little bit more healthier. So I'm using turkey breast. I got some shredded cheese. I'm just gonna be using a little bit of that and some egg whites. You could put salsa, any kind of hot sauce. I am doing Texas Pete on top. And I'm also gonna add some green onions. First thing I'm gonna do is gonna go ahead and start heating up my pan. I'm using 100% pure avocado oil by this brand Chosen. Just drizzling that in there. And now I'm going to chop up my tomatoes and my kale. So all I did was just quarter my cherry tomatoes, break up the turkey with my hands. It doesn't need to look pretty or fancy because it's just gonna go all in the omelet anyways. And then I just roughly chopped my kale. So I'm just gonna cook this down for a few minutes and then I'll add my egg whites. Now I'm going to take my egg whites and what I usually do is I just go over the top like that and then on the side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold it over, I'm actually gonna sprinkle some cheese, put a little lid on here, that way it can cook all over and the cheese can melt. So I'm just keeping it real over here because I just realized that the two lids that I have for this pan are currently in the dishwasher washing. So I just put a baking sheet. I mean, hey, it gets the job done, but now I'm like worried that it's hot. So there we go. So it's gonna look like this all the way cooked through. Let's see if I can do this with one hand while I am filming. See if I can do this. Oh, we got one fold. We're gonna get the other. She's a little crispy, but that's okay. Now I'm going to add some of my green onions. Ooh, a little bit of hot sauce too. All right, so here's how the omelet turned out. Like I said, a little crispy, but it's all good. Got my happy juice, which is just like my mood and gut and motivation. Literally everything all in one is in this happy juice. I even got Frank to make me a happy juice cup. So that is going to be at my breakfast. I actually have not had any coffee yet. I've just been replacing that with coffee. So I'm like a totally different person. I even got my planner here, which I am not a planner person at all. Fletcher just stole my markers. He just stole them. Um, but I am really trying to change that because I want to be a planner person. It's just been all about consistency for me. So we're about to change that this year. So one thing that has kind of jump-started my healthy eating this year has been Green Chef. Over the holidays, we got some boxes sent to our door and absolutely love Green Chef meals, by the way. We have been an avid user and lover for years now. Um, but it definitely came in clutch for the holidays and it really like i said jump started my healthy eating and i just first want to say green chef is a ccof which means certified organic company and options for every lifestyle we absolutely love the fast and fit options but they also have keto paleo vegan vegetarian Mediterranean and also gluten-free options. So basically options for everyone. They also support a healthy lifestyle, which I am all about, especially right now when I'm trying to eat healthier and feel my best, and eat my best. So with their pre-portion, easy to follow recipes delivered right to your door, it's never been easier to hit your wellness goals. And it has been so easy preparing all these recipes because not only does everything come right to your door and you're able to customize and choose all your meals from their website, but everything comes to you 
pre-packaged and also all the ingredients that you will need and some things are even pre-made and not only that but also step-by-step -step instructions on how to prepare your meals so they literally make it so easy for you from start to finish. And I wanted to mention that I have tried so many recipes from Green Chef and I have loved every single one of them. And honestly, I'm not even a huge cauliflower rice person. And this recipe was really good with the Parmesan and the shrimp. And I just wanted to say that not only do all of their meals taste amazing, but I really love getting to try recipes that I would have never thought to make. Like I would have never thought that this combination of food would be good, but they taste delicious and support my healthy lifestyle. So being able to choose from so many different weekly options and then make these kind of like restaurant worthy meals in 30 minutes is honestly so much better than eating out. So this meal was actually part of our fast and fit box that Frank and I wanted to try, to try their healthy recipes, which we really, really enjoyed. And then the following week for our dinner meals, I ordered a family box. So we had beef cavatappi skillet, and this turned out amazing. The kids really, really enjoyed this recipe. Again, another really easy recipe to make. It was delicious, also, healthy as well and then i also made pork tenderloins with cherry barbecue sauce again i would have never thought cherry and barbecue sauce would go together you guys again absolutely amazing and also a kale salad some roasted potatoes so if you guys are interested in checking out green chef i actually have a code for you guys for amazing savings if you use our code moro60 that will give you guys 60 percent off plus free shipping all you guys have to do is go to greenchef.com and again use our code moro60 to get 60 percent off plus free shipping everything will be down below in the description okay, so i did not film my pre workout meal but i did take a boomerang which i don't know why i never i didn't even i didn't even post it but at least i have the boomerang because i have proof that i did eat it so i had protein oats which i just used my let me just show you guys hold on i've been trying to get back and filming for some reason it like totally flew over my head so i got my old-fashioned rolled oats i really like this um bob's red mill brand um so i just put some in a bowl i usually just eyeball it but there are like instructions on the back and servings and everything um i put extra water because i am adding the protein powder because i don't want it to be super super dry so i did one scoop of this protein which is muscle feast 100 percent whey it is chocolate i did a tablespoon of peanut butter i usually just dip it in there and then mixed it with my oatmeal and it kind of melted that way. And then I just added some chopped banana on top. That was it. It was like the best pre-workout that I could have had because it really did get me through my workout on top of my pre-workout powder, which let me show you guys what I had. Sorry, I've been like sucking at this. I had to mute the TV for a second. Paw Patrol was blasting. But I love Alani News pre-workout. This is actually the only pre-workout that I use is the Alani New ones, all the different flavors. I like the Breezeberry. Actually, I love all of their flavors, like the Witch's Brew. This is a new one called Juicy Peach, and the pre-workout powder is actually better than, well, the, the one in the can is really good too. It's one of my favorites, but this one is even better. So I had that. So anyways, with all of that to say, my after or post-workout, I guess this would be like considered snack meal. I don't really consider it a replacement meal because I'm still gonna have dinner in about an hour or so. But I love these own protein shakes. It is their non-dairy protein shakes. This is the cookies and cream. It has 20 grams of protein, um, five grams of fiber, four grams of net carbs if you guys care about that kind of stuff. And then I'm just gonna add a scoop of creatine. This is just to help with my muscles after workout. I don't know what the best word is, babe. Is it like repair your muscles after a workout? Yeah. I know the protein is, the but... The protein helps build your muscles and the creatine replaces a lot of stuff. It also retains some water. If you're if, if you're working out consistently, mm -hmm. the creatine doesn't retain as much water as people think it does. What's the best way to say? Restore. Restore. Recover. Recover. It helps re Recover, it helps repair, recover. and restore. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just have it with water because you can't taste anything, but You've it's... You've already had all of it? 
It's almost gone. Yeah, I need to order some more. I probably have like five more scoops left. So as you guys saw, I just drank a little bit because it's pretty full. Added one scoop and this is going to be my post-workout snack. All right guys, so I am currently making dinner. We are having beef and broccoli for dinner. This is probably like the easiest beef and broccoli recipe you'll ever make. I'll leave it down below. But I just have some flank steak cooking right now and it's coated in a little bit of cornstarch. It's so hard to do with one hand, but I'm just now browning the flank steak as best as I can and I'll be right back with the next step. All right, so I went ahead and took the flank steak out. You basically just want to brown it and you're gonna put it on a separate plate because we are gonna add it back in later. But first, we got to cook the broccoli. Now fresh is best, but you know, when you have a crunch for time or trying to save a couple bucks, you can also do frozen. So I put the whole bag of broccoli in there and now I'm gonna add some garlic and mix it together. I'm actually gonna add the lid on top. I think this is the step that I add the beef broth too. I think it is, because that's gonna soak up all the stuff on the bottom. Um, and then I just put a lid on there and let it cook for a little bit until it's soft. Then we're gonna add this back in and then I'll tell you guys all about the sauce. So I was right, this is where we add the beef broth, adding half a cup. And I'm gonna let this cook for a little bit, almost kind of steam it a little bit. And like I said, we'll add everything back in. So I'm gonna add the meat back in now. Broccoli is tender. Our sauce, which is corn starch, soy sauce, and brown sugar. Like I told you guys, easiest recipe ever. Just making sure it's all mixed up. Sometimes the brown sugar doesn't like to mix. So we're gonna add that. Put it on simmer so it can thicken up, and then it will be done. All right, so here's how, ooh, here's how the beef and broccoli turned out. I think because we were running out of cornstarch, it didn't thicken up as much as I wanted it to, but I think it's gonna still be good regardless. So we're also having this with Ben's original ready rice. I love the jasmine rice and also the basmati. Um, I love these rices in general because they're so easy. All you have to do is just put it in the microwave for 90 seconds. So I already got some in the bowl gonna put some in there and then dinner is done. So before bed, I'm having myself a little snacky snack. I'm having a Built Bar. You guys know if you've been watching my channel for a while that I love Built Bars. I actually haven't got them in a while and I ordered these on Amazon, this is one of my favorite flavors, the mint brownie, but I love them because not only are they protein bars, like this one has 17 grams of protein, I definitely need it after my workout today, but they taste like chocolate bars because um, they are made with 100% real chocolate, zero guilt, 100% taste, only four grams of sugar, 130 calories. These are hands down one of the best protein shakes I've ever tried. I also like the one brand, I think that's what it's called, but this is a brand new box I just got today, so I'm super excited if I can even open it. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna grab one out. But I'm super excited to have one again. These are my favorite, so that's what I'm gonna have for my late night snack. All right guys, so that is going to wrap it up for this More With Moro's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope that it gave you guys some ideas and inspiration to try for yourself. If it did, please be sure to leave me a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys.